Fall fashion is not just about the clothes you wear, it's also things like your hair, even your nails. Joining us to talk fall nail trends is nail artist Melissa Martinez. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. So what's in now with the nails? I mean, is bling a thing? You know, it was, it was. Bling a is a thing in the sense of uh, jewel, gemstones. So okay. it's a nice combination of gemstones and adding like gold studs to it. That's kind of what I've been seeing. Uh, brought a little example of that here on this nail. Okay. So that's kind of happening. Uh, retro patterns are happening. Um, your mustards, your cognac colors, your uh, like your oranges, your rust oranges, those are all happening. I have an example of that here with some teal. And basically just your nice maroons, your shades of brown, your shades of gray. So I show the gradients right here. Kind of a way to have fun without actually doing nail art drawn on your fingers. Yeah. It's a way to have fun with all the colors that are happening right now for the season. What's the deal with nail shape? Because like, because the really pointy ones, like they look, the stilettos, like they yeah. look good on other people, yeah. but I can't, I feel like I'm gonna stab my children. You know, they're, they're, they're popular, but a lot of my clients request the almond. Okay. And that's kind of what that's I show cool, here it? it is okay and um, that's kind of a good go-to okay. it doesn't look too unprofessional it's nice it doesn't look dangerous yeah and um, the bottom of the line of gray colors I have shows coffin uh, not my favorite nail shape but yeah. a lot of people are loving it now so squ is square out am I out um, you're not out it's okay. you know it's what works for your hands okay. and it's what works for your profession at the end of the day okay, okay. so we're seeing a lot of the, like you're saying the patterns I mean how do you go about I mean, obviously you have to go to a professional, yeah. but I mean, I've seen a lot of at home products and, and things that people are using at home. Are you able to get that kind of a shape at home or is it, you know? It's a little tricky. A okay. lot of DIYers, I hear from them like, I just, I can't do it like at the shop. I can get close, but I can't quite. So mm -hmm. there's still room for people like myself doing it by hand. And even though it's time consuming, there's still room for us because the decals only go so far. Yeah. Mm. Let me ask you your favorite manicure type. I mean, there's gels, there's the powders, yeah. traditional polish. What do you like best? You know, my tried and true is gel polish. No it chips. Is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, you don't want to leave any polish on for too long. You don't want to leave any color on for too long. You don't want to leave any enhancements on for too long. What's too long? Too long is like over four weeks. Some people can hit a month with it, but I truly feel like that might be... Mm, time to take it off. Yeah. Even though it grows out, you start seeing the outgrowth and the more it sits on your nail, it's time to do it up fresh. And then when you get a lot of these manicures and stuff, how long can you continually get them? Because I know, I mean, should you let your nails breathe mm. for a month? Like, You know, the, the breathing is interesting. A lot of people say that, but um, it's not really necessary. No. It's, it's really what's happening internally through your bloodstream that's feeding the health of your nail, not so much what you're doing on top of it. Okay. The key thing is when you're wearing gel, don't pick it off. Yeah, that's right. gonna damage yeah. the surface of your nail. And for things like that, for people that lack strength, for people that get too many enhancements and feel like their nails are weakening, I offer a treatment called IBX. It's these black bottles here, oh. and it's pretty awesome. It sits on the surface of your nail, can be worn under gel, under regular nail polish, under whatever you do on your nails. Okay. And it basically is just a ton of awesome oils that get penetrated into your nail by way of a heat source and then get cured with the lamp that you use for gel okay. onto your nails and then like normal, you just put your polish on. Let's nice talk about the the lamp, because mm -hmm. I know you had mentioned yeah. before you were mm -hmm. concerned about getting uh, the gels UV because rays. the UV yeah. rays and yeah. they could possibly cause cancer. The thing about that is now the majority of lights that we all use are LED. They're mm. not even UV. Yeah, so all the polishes okay. that when gel started that were UV, they're all now kind of universal is what they call it. Okay. And they're both LED and UV friendly, but we all, the majority, I don't know who uses UV anymore, to okay. be honest, I don't. Because of that concern. Yeah. That okay. and just the fact that it's not necessary when now they all work well with LED. And then with the powders, People raise concern about chemicals in the powders. Mm -hmm. Are the powders okay too? I never got into powders. No? Okay. You know, honestly, my true opinion on it is uh, it, it, you're basically just dipping your finger, you're putting glue on your nail, yeah. adhesive, yeah. and dipping your finger into a powder. And I think the bigger concern about the powder is the fact that uh, you know, some places aren't doing their diligence and, right. and and taking out the portion needed for the one client, and everyone's just dipping their fingers into this powder. Yeah. I never got into that. Um, that way of doing nails, it, it's rather thick, and it's yes. essentially acrylic powder and glue, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, okay. I, It's I, a messy I, removal. Let's ask you this. So how do you know that you have a good manicurist? Yeah. What is the sign of a good manicurist? Your nails won't hurt after. <laughs> Your nails won't hurt. They won't um, react bad to anything. Like, you won't, like, uh, a true is, a true tell is kind of when the nails are taken off, right? What's right. the condition? What do your nails look like when, 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 they're, when they're bare? 
Right. Right? So then that's how you know that who you're going to is, is doing their diligence and doing right by your nails and not being aggressive with removal, aggressive with how they clean up your nails. Yeah, that's uh, the first thing I, I notice about somebody is whether or not they're doing that correctly. Correct. So I started taking it all off myself right, right. at home because I was afraid people were ruining my nails. Right. I need some blow on people. Right. <laughs> mm, all right. Yeah. So if your nails look dry and brittle once you take this gel off, then somebody's mm -hmm. not doing something right. So I go with IBX. People actually search for that service now. It's not as popular as I wish it would be, which is why I wanted to bring it to the to, the, to TV today because it's it's a way to. Uh, repair and strengthen the nails. Oh. So it's because these oils and the combination of how it's applied and the heat source, it really gives your nails the TLC they need, which is especially great in these coming cold months. Right. It's interesting so to know because you don't usually think oil under. You don't. Yeah, you, yeah oil is like a no-no. Right. I remember when I first started doing nails, I made the mistake of leaving cuticle oil on someone's and the the, the polish chipped right off. Yeah. Yeah, but, but this, this is not how that works. It's it's a process that it's I won't cured. get. Yeah, it's yeah. cured and, it, and it's cleansed and then the polish is applied. So. Fantastic. All right. Melissa, it's thanks good. for coming in Thank and you. educating us yeah. on this. This is some great information. Yeah, all right. All the information there on your screen, too, for Notable Nails.